Are we in Killin' a Scully, Dieter? I don't know if we're in Killin' a Scully, Hans. First of all, the sign says Killin' a Scully is this way, five kilometers. Then the next one says Killin' a Scully that way, eight kilometers. We are going around in circles. I'm beginning to think we'll never get to Killin' a Scully. Mean? Uh, the road is closed, yes? And I don't mind that at all. Are you here for the fishing? Uh, no. My name is Dieter, and this is Hans. Uh, we're looking for Willy Power. Willy Power? Oh, Jesus, any friend of Willy Powers is a friend of mine. So you must be here for the fishing, sir. <laughs> no. Uh... Well, I'll tell you why you couldn't have picked a better spot. They say they're giving themselves up below at the metal bridge. I was only talking to Dixie Welch last night in Jax's. And he said to me, he took four fine fish out of there yesterday evening, and every one of them in the double figures. Uh, very well. Uh, could you please direct us to Killin' a Scully? Killin' a Scully? Now, you go straight on up the road here in front of you, right? And when you go up to the next junction, take a right, and then you go on for a couple of miles, then you, you come to a kind of a fork in the road where you keep left. Well, you're not going left so much as you're, you're only kind of following the road around. And you stay straight on that road, and that'll take you straight into killing the scully. Uh, very well. Thank you. Should I say it was the best way to go? Because I'll tell you, if I was ye, I wouldn't be inclined to take that road at all. I'd be more inclined to go back the way you came down to the right there and take the first lift you come across, right? And when you go on that road, then take it handy, then you go on a few miles and take it handy because you're going to hit a, a humpy back bendy bridge. And I tell you, you'll be as well off slowing down because lads, you'll only take off inside in this yoke. And there's no harm to slow down anyway because there's a lovely little stream there and there's trout in that stream, lads. And they're around the four pounders. I wait till you see the size of this stream, you know how narrow it is. You'll wonder how they can even pass each other. Well, that's a lucky we're all going the one direction anyway, isn't it? But you, you, you're not here for the fishing at all, is that right? Uh, yes, uh, we have arrived from Germany this morning and we are here to film a program about the people of Ireland and how joining the EU has made a difference to their lives after 30 years. Well, you've your work cut out for your lives. But if you're to ask me now, what made a difference to people's lives in the parish around here to the black and tens? Uh, what are these black and tens? Only the greatest show of bastards. Brother of God Almighty, what's he after doing? Didn't I tell you go handy over that hump? Oh Lord, the kidneys are bust on me. And this old York is a trap. What did I ever get into with Richie's heart? I had just plenty to see around here, all right. You know, the likes of the fairy gates below us that make any cross. They're a good old spot now, you should look into that. They're just beyond the sister's house there. Just, oh, here, come up to Brighty's now. Pull in here to the left like a good man. I just want to pop in here, boys, and get two bags of plaster. Grab a hold of that, young fella. Jez, wouldn't you catch it?
There's no way I'm paying out 25 to 1 odds on a treble for you. Gavda Ryan took that and he shouldn't have. That race was started when you rang. You've some nerve. Hold it, no, hold it. That's a bit rich coming out of you, Father. Fine. Be like that about it. And a men to you too, Father. Well then, the man. Well, Dick, how's the farm? You brought back the pasta. Yeah, sure, there's the quick drying stuff I ordered. Sure, who'd want to have drying stuff? But why did you say that? In the first place, they're not happy lugging them bags in and out. Throw them out the back, will you, like a good man? And bring in two bags of the quick drying stuff for Mary Tiling Moore here. Sure, it's hot as the quick drying stuff I ordered. <laughs> and take no notice of the Commissioner. Commissioner, take that man's leg out of your mouth. And the shoes. <laughs> I don't know you or I'll have you transferred back to the sub with lads. <laughs> Not a spell on the water to do that bitch a world of good. We, we are looking for Willie. What? You are Willie, yes? Dick. Dick. Dick or tool, Sergeant Dick or tool. Oh, yes. Hello, Sergeant Dick. Oh, good man. Throw them out of hand, will you? Yeah. I was straying the spuds. Is it Willie you're after? Are you here for the fishing? Uh, no. We are... They're the German fellows, Dick. They're here to fill in a documentary. What class of a documentary? Well, it will be about the history of the parish, Dick. <laughs> oh, the history of the parish, is it? <laughs> Actually, we... Well, don't forget to take in the ferry gate below at my Gany Cross. I showed him that already, Dick. Jesus, I've a foil in it as tall as a small house. Photographs and everything. Yes, as it is. No, thank you, but I really need to find Willie Power. The investigation is ongoing. I told you this was B. So they were all done. The tech lads, the lab lads, forensics. Helicopters, sniffer dogs. The sub lads. Surveillance teams, SWAT teams, motorcycle outriders. Fellas and horses. The state pathologist and the DPP. What was that crowd dick there about a week later? The rapid response unit. The rapid response unit, yeah. I should have said down psychological profilers and psychics. Remember that poor old devil, God love him, the detective fella. He, he, whatever it was he saw at all, well, the next morn, he went gagger. Pure ballistic. Who was he with, thee? Ballistics. Ballistics, that's right, ballistics. May I use the phone? That phone is the property of the Minister for Justice. Uh, would he mind if I used it? It's for official guard use only. Well, if it's a question of money. Who said that about money? Well, since you brought it up, throw five down there, we'll say no more about it. Is it a call centre in London? Hello, Willie. This is Sergeant O'Toole. I should don't mention it, there's no bother. Them things are only written to be torn up. You can't be doing any more than 90, isn't that right? <laughs> Listen, do you remember that paving you took off me last week for the back of the nursing home? Well, I have the very thing now to set that off nicely. Frogs. Cement ones, they're French. I four them out the back. What'd they be? Frog colour, I suppose. A sort of a browny, greeny, grey, with a bit of yellow. Ah, yeah, they're beautiful. They're the real thing. Just as if they weren't cemented, hop away in you altogether. Well, that is depending on who's paying for them now, wouldn't it? <laughs> if it is yourself, so we'd look after you. But sure, if it is the help board, uh, we could live in at the 280 apiece. Good man. Spot on. I will, of course. Ah, sure, there's no bother. Haven't they? The German lads here. I can throw them into the back of the van with them. Right, will you? I tell him that. Dan, you're to take the boys up to Mount Bernadette. And uh, he'll see you in Jaxie's later on. I tell you, Willie did the right job putting you into Mount Bernadette. Wait till you see it now, it's pure palatial. Is it far? Oh, just beyond Brady's. Do you know Hans? 
I think I need some Johnny Lurgan now. This film is Just memories. For the last time, hold me now. Don't cry. Don't say you love me. Hold me now. Don't cry. I'll always be a part. boys. <laughs> you must be the German boys. I was beginning to think you'd never come. <laughs> well, it was hard. Oh, <laughs> I bet it was. <laughs> she were parked next door for ages. <laughs> well, better late than pregnant, as the actress said to the bishop. <laughs> Wait, dear, I'll come down and let you in. <laughs> what, bishop? You are welcome to Mount Bernadette any time. I'm Gretchen. Hans. Oh, very nice. Hans, knees and bumps of daisies. <laughs> what? Hans Schmidt. Han Schmidt. And you must be the famous Peter. Dieter. Dieter Lange. Oh, I love a man with a firm hand. <laughs> so you're here for the fishing? Uh, no. I told as much. Well, I didn't see your rods. <laughs> so what is you here at all? Oh, oh, we are here to make a film about... Oh, I remember now. <laughs> Willie told me. <laughs> You're in the films. Yes, we will be... I was in show business myself for years. Never in the films. I bet you've the best of equipment. Uh, yes, should we get it out? Oh, stop it, you! <laughs> Barely off the plane, he's at it already. <laughs> I'll have to be keeping my eye on you. <laughs> Come now, Mr. Langer. Let's get you inside. We travel everywhere, Mossy and I. Sometimes even as far as Bogart. <laughs> Life on the road, eh, Peter? Yeah, the bedrooms. <laughs> this is my husband here, Mossy the Magnificent. He was gifted. That's him in the middle, me on either side. Have you ever been in a magic circle, Peter? Uh, uh, Dieter und no, I haven't. Oh, busy. I'd say you like it. The rooms now, I... Th I'm sure you must be tired. I'll put the young fella in here. It'll make him feel at home. <laughs> and I'll just pop you in here, Peter. Und the bathroom? Voila! As the French would say. Und, und this, this is for emergency? <laughs> if you like, Peter. <laughs> it's my bedroom. But if you're ever stuck, you can knock me up any time. Uh, I'll just get my equipment. <laughs> Do, Peter. Get your equipment. German lads I was telling you about by Dieter and Hans. Right, yeah. <laughs> well, how are you? Uh, uh, fine. Uh, we're fine, thank you. But we're looking for Willy. Well, Peter Hawking. If you're the German lad, you just missed him. He was here a minute ago. 
But but he said um, he said hold on to here till you got back. Oh, but will he? I read to worry, but will he? So he'd land in here any minute now. So stay where he are and have a small one. Well, um, here I get this. What's he having? No, no, thank you. We'll be fine. No, no, no. In fairness, now these boys were marvelous. Logan bags of plaster around the countryside for me today. Oh, fair play, fair play. What do you have, lads? Um, two schnapps. We don't sell crisps. Um, uh, two bellies with ice. You'll have to go to the lounge for the ladies' drinks. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. We have no baileys. We have no ice. Uh, well, in that case, uh, we'll have two of your small Guinnesses. They're played, sure. That'll put hair in your chest. Miss <laughs> 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 uh, Blackcurrant, please. We have no Blackcurrant here. Uh, just two of your small Guinnesses. And I make them pints, Jaxie. Guinness never tasted right out of a girl's glass. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play, Joe. I was just saying that, Peter. Guinness never tasted right out of a girl's glass. <laughs> and which girl? Yeah, any girl, Trump. They are the same. <laughs> so on one for me, Jaxie, please. I don't understand. Are you here for the fishing? No, them boys are making a film. The history of the parish. I, it's not about history. Did you tell them about the fairy gate by Ganny Cross? All fit, and I did, Jimmy. Fair play, Tom. Dan Noah's the man for the stories. You didn't tell him the one about your fourth cousin, then, did you? Oh, that's great. Oh, he tells this lovely. Well, there was a fourth cousin of mine. And he was dragged out of his bed. In broad daylight. And beige. Black and blue. Black and blue. Bit of black and tan. In the middle of the night. In the middle in the middle of the night. That should be in your film. Should you know? They dragged him out. In front of his own family. In front of yeah, in front of his own family. His wife and five children. I think the eldest fellow was about five and the youngest fellow about three, three and a half. If he was even dead, God, he was. Where did that happen now? Abroad in Hassan's field, and I blew in the face, I'm telling you. That's right, I'm out there. Into the middle of a field. And they put him up again, a wall. Shot him. In the back of the head. One bullet. Bang, bang. Bastards. Bastards. And whatever became of him after then? Well, he went off to America after that, I think. That'd be 1720. Oh, I know. That would be 1919. 1720 euro. Oh, that's oh. my show, Jaxie. Sorry, Aisha. Well, Lord God. What? I think I'm after losing the wallet. No. Well, that's a holy terror. Do you hear that, lads? The wallet, gone. D did you try all your pockets? I oh, did, and I did, Peter. What about your house? I yes, maybe it's at home. I suppose it could be above in the house, all right, Peter. But it's not here, is it, Dan? No, Jimmy. It's not here, is right. Uh, uh, let me pay. <laughs> yes, of course. I, 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 this is no problem. <laughs> Good man. Good man. Well, Fair play, Peter. Thanks, Peter. Fair play. Good man, Peter. To the German film. To the German film. To the German film. <laughs> to the German film, yeah. You were, you were asking there about Massey and the Postal. <laughs> well, that's Massey the Magnificent. Oh, he was married to, to Gareshi. That's Gareshi below in Mount Bernadette. He, he was a magic man. Oh, you could say that about him, all right. <laughs> and what happened to him? Well, he, he disappeared. <laughs> he disappeared? Yeah, a bit like my wallet piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poor old, poor old Goreshi. God love her, she was never right after Massey disappeared, you know. She seemed good to me. Oh, she's good all right, isn't she? <laughs> non finer, non finer, lads. <laughs> she's a great old way of bouncing back. You know? well, she bounces all right. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> so what would you know, you luder? Huh? <laughs> I better strain the old spuds. <laughs>
Ja, ich stehe in das Boot. <lacht> oh, uh, Mr. Jaxi. Wie wird schon immer Peter noch? No, no, please, Mr. Jaxi, if I could have a word with you, please. When will Willy Power be here? Do I look like Willy Power's secretary? I, I don't know. I've never seen Willy Power's secretary. I've never even seen Willy Power. He was not at the airport. He is nowhere to be found. He just leaves us messages. Uh, here is where you hire your van. The directions to kill Nescali. You pay a man to do a job, and yes, one whole day, yeah? even the first day of the job, that man is nowhere to be seen. He has vanished off the face of the earth. He cannot be found. He, yeah, he, he will be here soon, yeah. But how soon is soon? How long must we wait? Is this not rude and unprofessional? I say to you, this, this Willy Power, I cannot believe. This, this Willy Power, he, he buggers belief. Calm down, Peter. And another thing, my name is not Peter. Understand? My name is Dieter. Dieter? You must be one of the German fellas. Is that right? Just the other lad over there. Because you took your time. Excuse me, you are Willy Power, yes? That's right, yeah. I hope all the lads are looking after you. Well, since you are asking, it is. <laughs> Sorry, Dieter, one second. Hello? Ah, hello, Father. Bad news. Oh, Lord God. When did this happen, Father? Okay. Where, where, where are you with her yourself, Father? I wish that would have been some comfort to her anyway, Father. Okay, Father, God bless. Thanks, Father. Thanks, Father. I'll, 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 I'll be up in a few minutes, okay? She slipped away, Jaxie. Just a couple of minutes ago. May her soul and the souls of faith be departed. Rest in peace, Amen. Amen. I'm sorry for your trouble. Thanks very much, Jaxie. Jaxie, if you wouldn't mind, just... Seeing as everyone is here, just to say a few words. <coughs> I know you all know we were close. Very close. But I don't know how. I'm going to manage without her. But I'd just like to thank you all very much for the support you've been over the last couple of weeks. It's been a hard time for us at home. It's been a hard time for you here too. And I'd also like just to say to our German friends that arrived, that it's unfortunate they ever arrived on such a sad occasion. But I know you'll understand and agree with me when I say that I did in the family brings everything else into perspective. Uh, of course, of course. And may, may we extend our sympathies on, on, on your sad loss. Well, I hope you'll excuse me all if you understand I have to slip away. Uh, of course, of course. And please do not worry about us. <coughs> Thank you very much. Jackson, will you get a few drinks for the lads? Um, uh, please, please, please just le let me pay. Thank you very much. This, this death, it was unexpected? Oh, an awful shock. They took her in last Tuesday, opened her up, closed her up, wriggled. She went like that. God, he loved that dog. My Danny lass. My Danny lass. Little lad, little lemonade, little lad, 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 little